Hey everybody, welcome to That Vinyl Channel. I'm That Vinyl Guy, Boss. So uh, here it is again, it's another Monday. I'm gonna go ahead and do another uh, Mondays on my turntable. Uh, let me go ahead and show you here uh, some of the records that I have here that I pulled out and washed and have ready to play. Uh, so if you're not familiar with uh, why I do these Mondays on my turntable, basically I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday's my first day off. So I like to play records uh, and uh, and so I um, wanted to go ahead and show you all the records that I play, that I take out and I play. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you some records that I actually got in the mail in the last uh, week or so. And then I'm gonna show you the covers of the records that I just showed you that I plan on playing today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to these records I'm gonna play today as well. As I said earlier, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the records that I actually got in the mail in the last week or so. So this is a Guns N' Roses uh, live radio broadcast. Uh, it is one of those gray market uh, bootlegs, but that's fine. It has, a, it has an amazing uh, track listing, so I can't wait to go ahead and play this one. Okay, and the next one I got in the mail. I do like picking up records that are uh, uh, sealed, old records that are sealed. I do have a copy of this record already in my collection. I used to have this as a kid, actually. And uh, uh, about maybe two or three years ago, I went ahead and got another copy. And uh, it was uh, like VGVG Plus. And uh, it, has, it, has some, you know, it has some crackles on it, you know. This is an old record from the 1960s. But I just saw somebody having uh, one of these for sale up on eBay that was still sealed. So I figured, you know, here's my opportunity uh, to get a record that is hopefully going to sound pristine. So uh, why not, right? Okay, next here is uh, Russian Rio. This is a 4LP box set. This is live. Uh, this has been rather expensive, but uh, last month they actually brought the price down to where I could um, afford it. So I went ahead and finally picked it up. But uh, I can't wait to play this, but I'm going to turn it over and let you all see the track listing for this one. Yeah, I really like Rush a lot. It's one of my, one of my, one of my favorite bands. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, Saga. Uh, uh, Saga, I think it's pronounced, but this is uh, Saga. This is a uh, a recent uh, release by them. So, so they actually put out a uh, a new album. So uh, haven't haven't been able to find time to play this yet. So this sounds pretty cool. It's called it's uh, called uh, Saga Symmetry. Okay, and let's get to the records that we're going to play today. So the first one here is Alien. Uh, this is from 1979 uh, with. Uh, Sigourney Weaver, I'm pretty sure most of you are probably familiar with this movie. It's a classic sci-fi movie. Uh, as you all know already from my other videos, uh, that I'm a sci-fi nut. So I have a lot of sci-fi um, soundtracks in my collection. But uh, I do have the Mondo uh, release of this as well. But I wanted to get it on the original uh, pressing. So I actually picked this up last summer. So this is my uh, first opportunity to get it out and play it. Okay, and this is uh, Kick Axe Vices. This is a, uh, a classic rock album uh, uh, from 1984. It's quite possible back then people might have considered it more of a metal album, but I consider it a rock album. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually showed you one of these or not and on a previous Mondays on my turntable or not, but I can tell you this is the second copy I got in. I got a copy in... Uh, right before the holidays, I bought it off of Discogs. The guy said it was VG Plus, so I picked it up and uh, I came in and I played it and there were skips on the first side and the second side. And I watched it and there were still skips on uh, uh, on the record. So I went and contacted the seller and I returned it to him and then I picked up another copy from eBay this time. And this, this guy said that it's EX Plus. So hopefully... Um, it's going to not have any skips in it. This here is a uh, Target exclusive. Uh, this is a 21 Pilot Scaled and Icy. It's their sixth studio album. Uh, it was uh, released last year in 2021. Uh, this is, uh, my wife is a big fan of 21 Pilots. I like them too, but my wife likes them a bit more than I do. So I would decide to go ahead and pick this up for her so uh, she, uh, she can have a chance to listen to it. It was issued on this uh, great white vinyl. So very cool. Let me go ahead and flip this over if you all want to see the back of this. 
Okay, and this here is Walt Disney's It's a Small World. Uh, this is a 1972 pressing of this. It, but it originally came out in the 1960s. It is a gatefold, so it's very cool. This is a minty, a minty uh, uh, a copy of this. Okay, next is Evansense uh, Fallen. Uh, this is another uh, Target exclusive on silver vinyl. So uh, this is a, a pretty good... Uh, band bring me to life is um i believe one of their big hits very cool stuff let me go ahead and uh, show you what that silver vinyl looks like very cool so i can't wait to play this okay and i just put up a video showing some uh sealed classic albums some old new stock albums that i just recently opened so i might as well go ahead and play them there's a couple here uh, from my previous video, but I'm gonna go ahead and play them today. This is uh, Cheech and Chong's Greatest Hit. Uh, so I think this album was released in 1981. Uh, it even has the original price tag. It wasn't cut out, but this is what uh, some, somebody paid for it, uh, th th $3.99. So, um, but I paid uh, $10 for this off of eBay, which I thought was a pretty good deal for a sealed copy of this. Let me go ahead and show you uh, a, um, a picture here of the back of, of the album. Okay, and this here's another one of those that was sealed that I opened in the previous video, Beatles Songs. Not really sure what this um, uh, sticker is here. Uh, almost looks like a Kmart sticker. You remember Kmart used to have their letters. I'm not really sure what store that's from. But anyways, uh, this is a, um, a, a, pretty cool, a pretty cool record. This has a bunch of Beatles covers by a bunch of different bands. Uh, so, um, I'm a big fan of the Beatles and uh, I have other albums that are just covers the Beatles and I want to get this one as well. Very cool stuff. And this is a record that I actually got in in the last week. Uh, but I want to go ahead and open it up and play this because uh, I got this from Amazon, by the way. This was just $14 on Amazon. So, you know, uh, there are deals to be had out there. For, uh, I know people are complaining about the price of records. Right, but this is a brand new release. It was released back in September, uh, 2021. Here, Amazon is selling it for $14. Amazon has some really good deals. Uh, so, uh, as a matter of fact, that that uh, Rush Rio I showed you earlier that came from that, that came from Amazon as well. But anyways, I want to get this open because uh, many people who commented below the album said that that their copies were pressed off center. Now, a couple of people said that they didn't have any problems with their with their copies, but I'm curious if mine is going to have any issues or not, and I didn't want to be beyond the return window in case my copy has an issue like that. So I'm going to play it today and see if it's okay or not. Okay, and last but not least, we have uh, Meatloaf, uh, Den R Dead Ringer. Uh, this uh, was originally released in 1981, uh, but um, this is actually a reissue by Music on Vinyl. So um, this is a numbered, uh, let me turn it over here and show you, this is a numbered copy. So this is numbered 928. I'm not sure how many they pressed though, but it's a pretty cool album. It was actually released, uh, repressed that is, or, or reissued on this amazing uh, burnt orange and black marble vinyl that I'm showing you here. This, this album is looks amazing and it sounds amazing too. Music on vinyl always puts out really good sounding vinyl and really good looking vinyl too. So it's been quite a while since I played this, so I figured I'd get it out and I'll play it today. All right, and that's it. I do want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel now, is a great time to do so. Uh, go ahead and tap on that subscribe button, and don't forget to bash on that uh, bell for notifications, and that way you know when I put up new videos. Uh, I do want to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it, helps, it helps to grow the channel. So, uh, but again, I want to thank you, and I'll see you all next time.